Hey everyone, it's Afra and welcome to another bullet journaling video. For this month, we are doing a teddy bear theme, so if you want to get some inspo or if you want to follow along, let's go and get started. Okay, just kidding. Before we actually get started, let's go hop onto my iPad so you can see a quick time lapse of my template that I made. I'll do a whole rundown on why I'm doing templates on my iPad in a bit. So let's just move on to supplies really quick. So I'm using my defected memo pads, which if you don't know, I have a memo pad shop and I'm gonna use these like little hole puncher things to create circles out of it. So I can't draw, so I like to do bullet journaling in a deco-like method you know i just use a bunch of stickers and kind of make art with it you know collage it together i tried drawing in the past and it just it is not my thing digital drawing is more of my thing because you can always hit undo so with that being said, let's go back to why I'm using my iPad to make bullet journal templates. If you didn't watch my previous video, which was a butterfly theme bullet journal spread, I basically don't have a steady hand and I explained that like, it's just easier for me to use my iPad to create a template and then go off of that and customize it because the customizing part about bullet journaling is why I like it over planners because it's more personal to me. But the whole using a ruler and pen and not messing up is not for me. So this is a happy hybrid and as you can see I didn't really make it that complex like it's just more about having the space to deco and just having the basic stuff and this is a timeline thing that I'm just adding for the year so I can see 1 through 12 where we are at so I am circling two because we are in the month of February and this kind of helps me get perspective on where we are at and how close we are towards the end of the year because I always lose track of time even though I see like the calendar right in front of me like it does not process now I'm adding this cute teddy bear border using the stickers that I have um, they're just so cute look at all like the different activities that they're doing And yeah, sometimes we mess up and that's okay. We'll just save the sticker for later. So my goal for this month is to rebrand my shop and come up with a new shop name. Because right now I am making memo pads and my shop name is With Love Afra, which made sense when I was hand making my memo pads, but now I'm doing everything with a manufacturer and I'm just doing the designing part. And in the future, I definitely wanna do more digital art things. So I feel like the shop name does not match the vibe. So I definitely wanna rebrand and come up with a name, but it is so hard. I feel like I have the rebrand vision in my head and I know like the theme I wanna go for. If you're into K-pop, there's a group called Espa and I really like their vibe. They're actually like my current mood board for my shop rebrand. Very digital, very futuristic, very feminine. I don't know what that means for exact products, but I know that is what I want my art style to be. So going back to my cover, I just added these little dots using my pink gel pen to fill in the space so the border looks like more put together. Okay, now moving on to my weekly spread. So I added these little spaces here. So that's just so I can put in the dates myself rather than like printing out so many pages with like the specific date. Plus it kind of adds to the whole like, okay, I'm like bullet journaling vibe. So now that I have everything filled out and covered, we are ready to deco. So I'm kind of following the same theme as I did with my cover, to be honest. So all I'm really doing is using my teddy bear stickers to create a border around the weekly spread. A lot of this is trusting the process because when I was doing it, I'm like not feeling it at all. I'm like, uh, hello. But when I started doodling and filling in the spaces, it all really came together. So when in doubt, just doodle, even if it's like not that crazy, because all I really did was add like hearts, 
little dots and like confetti spirals or like ribbons and i don't know i feel like it really came together by doing that so yeah that's my little personal tip there just add some doodles and it should fix you know whatever you think you're missing So for the next weekly spread, I am using my memo pad. So you can see here that the text that I have for the memo pad is way too close to the edge. So I cannot sell something like that. So I'm using the defect in memo pads with this hole puncher and I have these little circles that still have like the pretty pink design that I used. So all I'm doing is just adding this double-sided tape thing and I'm going to add the teddy bear stickers and put them on top of the circle so it kind of looks like a border or a frame around it. You know, I don't know. I was trying to get creative here because I really don't want to waste all my defect and memo pads and just throw them out. So if you have any other handcrafty ideas that I can do, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely try to implement it. So it kind of looks like these teddy bears are sitting on these little pink bubbles, which I like. And I kind of deco them a little bit with like other star stickers around it. Okay, moving on to my TikTok spread. So I am trying to, you know, get some TikTok momentum going. So when I launched my shop, I actually made a TikTok schedule and it definitely helped me like spread the word on TikTok and even get some sales. So I can see the power of TikTok and I definitely want to make it a thing. So I'm making this bullet journal spread so I can plan out my TikToks in the future for this month. And all I really did here was just add all the candy stickers that I had in that BT Tony one sheet and just, you know, make it all cute and sweet for February and Valentine's Day. So with that being said, if you're into TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. My username is Afra Alam, but it is spelled with an X. It is A-F-R-A-A-L-X-M. I hope to capture some of my shop rebrand on there, but of course on YouTube, you know, YouTube is where it's at. It's going to get the full video of my shop rebrand. So be sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss that. But yeah, that is this month's spread. I hope that you liked it. I honestly really like this theme. I thought teddy bears were so cute. And I definitely want to try doing it again, maybe with like a different vibe. Who knows? But let me know in the comments. Let me know what other like spreads or themes I should do for next month or in the future. I am definitely open to ideas. So let me know in the comments if you have a theme idea or an aesthetic that I should go for for next month's spread or in the future. So I hope you like the teddy bear theme spread. And if you are new, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you and you do not go unnoticed. Until next time, stay healthy and happy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.